Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive? Always ready. Awesome. Well, today we're tackling a topic that's sure to spark some interesting conversations. Get ready to bust some myths about single women. Ooh, I like where this is going. Lay it on me. So we're diving into a fascinating study featured in Forbes that was originally published in Social, Psychological, and Personality Science. Sounds intriguing. What's the scoop? Well, it turns out single women are reporting higher levels of happiness than single men across multiple areas of life. Hold up, really? That's pretty interesting. Like, what kind of areas are we talking about? We're talking relationship satisfaction, overall life satisfaction, even sexual satisfaction. This study really flips the script on the whole lonely single woman stereotype. Okay, I'm hooked. Let's break this down. First up, relationship satisfaction. What's the deal there? Why are single women more content with their relationship status than single men? It seems like societal pressure to settle down might be easing up a bit, at least for women. They're feeling more empowered to embrace their independence. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially when you consider how much progress women have made in terms of financial independence and career success. Marriage isn't the economic necessity it used to be. Exactly. It's not about needing a partner to survive. It's about wanting one for the right reasons. Totally. And it seems like single women are really owning that choice. It's like they're saying, move over, Cinderella. I'm building my own castle. Speaking of feeling good, this study also found that single women report higher overall life satisfaction. Okay, now this is really interesting to me. What's driving that sense of well-being? Well, one major factor seems to be their awesome social networks. Single women are often pros at building and nurturing strong friendships and family connections. That makes a lot of sense. Those close relationships provide a feeling of belonging and support, which can be so important for overall happiness, no matter your relationship status. Absolutely. It's like having a built-in cheering squad, always there to celebrate your wins and offer a shoulder to cry on when you need it. Love that analogy. Okay, I'm ready for the next bombshell. What's this about single women reporting greater sexual satisfaction? Right. It's a real eye-opener. It seems like being single gives women more freedom to explore their desires and prioritize their own pleasure. It's about time, right? In many heterosexual relationships, there can be this unspoken expectation that the woman should focus on the man's pleasure first. Yeah, it's like society is finally catching up to the idea that women's pleasure is just as important. Exactly. And it seems like single women are taking control of their sexuality and finding greater fulfillment as a result. Yeah, get ready for the real plot twist. Single women actually expressed less desire for committed relationship compared to single men. Whoa, that is a twist. I wouldn't have expected that. Why do you think that is? Well, it could be connected to that growing independence we talked about earlier. Women are increasingly prioritizing their personal goals and passions, and they're finding fulfillment in all areas of their lives. Yeah, a romantic relationship isn't the be-all and end-all of happiness anymore. Exactly. It's like they're saying, a relationship is a cherry on top, not the whole Sunday. But before we wrap up this celebration of singlehood, there's one more point we need to address. Motherhood. Yeah, that's a big one. It's a complex issue for sure. Even if a woman is perfectly happy being single, she might still desire children. And if she chooses to remain child free, societal pressures can make that a really tough decision. For sure. It's a reminder that even as women gain more independence, those societal expectations around motherhood are still hanging around. It really highlights how important it is for women to make these choices based on their own values and desires, not what society tells them to do. Absolutely. So what's the big takeaway here? It seems like single women are out there breaking stereotypes and creating their own definitions of happiness. It's all about empowerment, self-discovery, mm -hmm. and building a life that feels authentic with or without a partner. Couldn't have said it better myself. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this deep dive. But before we go, I want to leave you with one final question to ponder. Oh, I love a good thought-provoking question. Hit me. What would your ideal relationship status be if societal expectations were completely off the table, and why? Hmm, that's a really interesting question. I'm going to have to give that some serious thought. Me too. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep living your truth. We'll see you next time.